Welcome back, folks, to more Book of Unwritten Tales 2. Let's go visit the Oracle. Hey, Eyes. Nate, nice to see you again. Come on, knowing you, you never lost sight of me. Your life wasn't so boring over the past few years, I must admit. Good season. I half expected to find you transformed into a huge ball of fluff with big goggle eyes. The council leader and the charming Chantal are concentrating their attention on the palace. Fortunately. I guess you also want her off the island as quickly as possible. Absolutely. I like tragedies, but I've never wanted to be in one. You know why I'm here? Of course, Princess Ivo. Oh, look at her. Isn't it sad? An elf in the prime of her life, sleeping away her best years. I'm going to prevent that from happening. And I hope you're successful. This is more boring than watching the cricket. Ivo's father said I can't rescue Ivo against her mother's will. That would be a bad idea. Although I'd like to see what would happen if you tried. So how can I convince Ivo's mother that she's not acting in her daughter's best interests? Isn't she? The future's in constant flux. Even I can't see it clearly in my mirrors. A powerful priestess like her might be able to see more, but clearly she doesn't want to. She thinks Ivo's thrown her life away. And she thinks it's impossible that she could be happy with a child. Or with me. A difficult task that you do... Oh, oh, come on, come on, number three! Run! Come on! Yes! Sundancer one! Ivo's pregnancy. Do you know who... You know. Ivo said you weren't the father. But if not you, who? I'm not the oracle with a hundred eyes. How should I know who it is? Eyes that are blind if there's no reflective surface nearby. Ivo seemed very surprised by the news herself. She spoke of a curse that might have struck her. A curse? Yeah, sure. Can I have that mirror? Of course not! I could always keep an eye on Ivo with it. And maybe it'll come in useful some other way. It's already useful. It means I can see what happens next in the story. Anyway. I've never given any of my mirrors away. They are rare collector's items. You collect mirrors? Rewind, delete, stupid question. This little mirror came from a tomb in Laura Mipson. Is it worth anything? It's, it's, it's that? It's, oh, do you know what you've got there? I'll take that as a yes, then. That's THE mirror! The first one! Thousands of years old! <gasps> Just imagine all the things it's seen! All the classics you could watch in it! Wanna swap? THE mirror? The first one? Thousands of years old? In mint condition? For the mirror connected to Ivo's room? J yes of course! Take it! Wow! Mirrors used to be so small! I gotta go. Yes! Go! Henceforth! Some happy children playing in a garden. Ivo's mother refuses to believe that Ivo's children could have a happy future too. Who cares if the future queen has an illegitimate child? Well, apart from me. Let's try some treats. Delicious. It's impossible to keep your hands off this kind of thing. That's what she said. I'm not proud. Would 
you like some of these sweets? Whoa, Betty! Someone's got one hell of a sweet tooth. I haven't got any more. Yeah. There's about 200 weights of these unhealthy treats waiting for you over there, in front of the palace. Yeah. Yes, go, but make sure you don't eat them all at once. What have you done, little fella? Ah. You... The whole lot? How was that even... I mean, it's gotta have gone somewhere. Whoa! It's a huge pile of hippogriff shit. That's the biggest, most formidable, and most glittery heap of dung I've ever seen. You want me to... That's... Ugh. Ah, uh, it's still warm. All right. Hippogriff shit. Smells like sweets. Smells like fucking Skittles. Let us return to Elfboro. All right then. Cast off. Ivo is still asleep in her bed. Nothing is going to change if I don't come up with something. Bob said that only she can wake Ivo up and no one can force her. Now back to Tugator. All right then. Cast. Nate, what's going on? Why did you take Ivo's mirror? Let's give them a bit of privacy. What do you think? Private what? that it won't take long anyway you owe me a favor for getting rid of the Van Buren's uh, all right then but hurry up and back to Elfboro all right then Cast off. <sighs> if this doesn't work, then I'm a goner. Don't hurt me. You have to see this. You. You did this to my baby. I didn't. And... You should have a look at this. Your grandchild. <laughs> Stop making such a rocket. No, I keep those kids of yours in check. Um, well, 
You want to see into the future and find out what you've done to her? I'll show you. Why don't you ask Granny whether she'll tell you a story? Don't call me Granny. A story, a story! Do you really want to keep her imprisoned here so that she hates you for the rest of her life? Granny tells the best stories! Alright then, what story do you want to hear? No. I see I was wrong. I made a decision for Ivo once because I thought it was the best for her. It broke my heart, and it was wrong. Only one person should make decisions on Ivo's life. Ivo. I'll... wait outside. so fast, darling. How much time has passed? A little. Uh, the human is still here. He's waiting outside. Is Nate still here? He convinced me to wake you up. Ivo, I didn't want this. One can be full of good intentions and still do the wrong thing. And apologies will not make what's done undone. No, they don't. But one can only try to do the right thing and hope to be forgiven. Ivo. Farewell. What's taking so long? Go fetch this. Are you okay? Yes, fine. Dad says I have you to thank for this. I didn't want to just leave you lying there. And while I was at it, I discovered Laura Ipsum. Then you'll help me transform Alistair back? What do you mean, help you? The critter and me did all the work while you were asleep. Oh, you. Oh. We'll... we'll bring Alistair back. That's all. It changes nothing, all right? I don't want anything else. Now let's get out of here. Get some distance between me and my mother. You heard, Critter. Cast off! Cast off! Impressive. Did you excavate all this? We had some help. Who? He's waiting in the pyramid, the entrance of which me and Critter opened all on our own. <laughs> all right, now we can play as Ivo, who is the mighty spark A of spark life. spark of life from my father. Ancient, powerful magic. The primordial mother used it to breathe life into all things. May I introduce you to, uh, the mummy? Oh, no, 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 no. Mortimer? Oh, I am not going to talk to you. You know each other? We know each other. I don't know what it's doing here, but for the sake of my sanity, I'm going to ignore it. You really do know each other. What's wrong with her? She released the mummy uh, from Mortimer's house in Book of Unwritten Tales 1. A hole at shoulder height. Only a complete and utter idiot would put their arm in there. A conspicuous black hole in the wall. You have to put your arm in there. Sure? Yes. Sometimes there is a switch at the end of the hole. But sometimes your arm will be sliced off instead. I'm pretty sure that this one here has a switch. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can go fuck yourself.
No, that's a perfectly normal column. Sure. Be careful, Nate. Why didn't you consult me before you put us in danger? Even if I get over this pitfall, the stone ball is blocking my way. The ball should only... I guess... We already know about the balls. Well, let's stick our arm in here and see what happens. So, tell me again. You said that if I stick my arm in there, it won't be chopped off? How should I know? Hmm. Huh. There really is something like a, a lever here. Pull it. Ah! Don't let go. The door is opening. Great. Put it, put. Yes. Broken. We'll just limbo into that shit with Critter. Thank you. All right, let's hand over the chisel to Nate. One trap less. I guess the pit used to be covered with thin wooden planks or the like. Mortimer, or time, one of the two has exposed the pit. The ball must weigh tons. Isn't there another way into the burial chamber? Burial chamber? Uh, I've somehow got to move it. Right. Again. Put 
Let's see you little girl. That looks like fun. often use them in traps. They eat the flesh of the bones of any intruders. Fantastic animals. Yeah, fantastic. Perhaps a little bit. Okay, they seem to really like it. At least I don't have to carry it around with me anymore. The dung beetles can smell the dung. They're very excited. They're running back and forth on the walls of the hole. They're looking for a way to get to the ball. Run, my little workers! Go forth and get yourselves the mother of all dung balls! Oh, yeah! They're doing it. Together, they're strong. However, not very clever. Let me guess. The Pharaoh's burial chamber is behind this door. Yes, it is. How do you open it? You have to... Um... Have you given it a good tug yet? I guess you need to turn this disc to open the door. However, that's exactly what these two metal pins are preventing. Let's go check out this room now that the uh, scarab beetles have dispersed. All right then, what happens here? A wheel in the wall. Judging by its position, I'd say it opens the grate next to it. Quite right. We had blind slaves who cared for the basilisks. They were only allowed to open the enclosures when all others had left the room. Hmm, something happened. And now it's been reversed again. Right. Again. Pitch to push.
Good job, Critter. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Is this another sarcophagus or something? No. That is a tool chest. Quite a lot of work just for storing some tools, don't you think? Lordum Ipsum was built with knowledge and these tools. We revere them. Do you know how to open the chest? You have to set the right code. It is yellow, red, red, blue, green. You remember it? Why wouldn't I? Hmm. Various hammers, a compass, a plumb line. Not very impressive. What's this? That's just a standard time manipulator. You'd be better off taking the plumb line. Time manipulator? It stops time for a few seconds in a limited area. Very handy if you need to carry out work on fast-moving parts. But the plumb line will allow you to build things perfectly perpendicular to the ground. That's like... magic! I think I'll stick with the time manipulator thingy. Here, take the time manipulator. But be careful and don't point it at anyone. All right, let's switch to Ivo. And now Nick Dog. Two pens should be out of the way. That's it. Wow. The burial chamber of Pharaoh Tut Tut. Yes, that's him. Did you ever see such an ugly fellow? So that's probably the Book of the Dead. Looks like it. Let's grab it and get out of here. No. Oh, sure. I am. Um, just wanted a peek. I say, this is impressive. 
I don't remember us having anything like this. You built me, oh venerable Tut Tut. Venerable Tut Tut? Yes. You are Pharaoh Tut Tut? It would appear so. Hey, you. I say, help me get off this camel. King Tut is back. Hooray. In any case, I guess it's okay if we take the Book of the Dead now. Where did you get that idea, mortal? I didn't get to be God King of the Desert by giving my things away. That much is clear. All right, folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Book of Unwritten Tales 2.